What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now, ever since the original auto rifle nerf, way, 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 way back in the day, a lot of you guys probably won't even remember it, but basically before this nerf, there was a time where auto rifles such as the Suros Regime, the Vanquisher, the Shadow Price, the Grim Citizen, absolutely ruled PvP, nothing could stand up to them. There was a time where this was actually the case, and in my opinion, it was the best time for PvP. PvP. Since then, in my opinion, PvP just hasn't been the same. I called this the Suros Regime era. Uh, Bungie saw this and nerfed the hell out of auto rifles. Since that day, I have kept hold of auto rifles just in case they did ever receive that long awaited buff where they would be able to stand up to competition in PvP. I've kept one off weapons. Now, auto rifles did receive a buff with the Taken King update and it was a buff which I originally thought would put them on par with weapons such as pulse rifles and hand cannons but it wasn't quite the case. Yes they received a a buff they did, uh, but it wasn't dramatic. I mean, they still lack, in my opinion, especially to push rifles. You just cannot stand up to them. Now, Bungie has decided to buff them again, and this buff will be coming in the December update, which I personally cannot wait for, because like I said, I've been saving one-off weapons, auto rifles, just for this day, just so I can go into that PvP and actually stand my ground with an auto rifle. The problem is though, a lot of these are year one weapons. So when it comes to Trials of Osiris and the Iron Banner, I'm going to have to look for new auto rifles. But I've still got one or two which I do believe will pack a punch and will help me stand my ground against hand cannons and pulse rifles. Now getting straight into the video, I'm going to start with the obvious ones, the exotics. Now the hard light is receiving a year two version which will come with this update, meaning I can just go to my vault and purchase this bad boy. Now this is a weapon I remember a lot of people doing great with in PvP. Uh, since the Taken King update I've seen more and more of this in PvP. Still I tried out, isn't amazing but I do believe when this buff drops this will be a great great weapon. We then have the Zalo Supercell which surprisingly is actually a half decent weapon in PvP in its current state. So with this buff I do believe this falls into the medium rate of fire auto rifle class so this will receive a 7% base damage increase so this is going to be a great weapon i can guarantee you'll see a lot of people using this bad boy then we have the Suros regime the Suros regime is a legendary weapon in my eyes even though this is a year two version it's actually quite different to the year one version that used to rule pvp i mean that version the year one version had max stability i don't believe this thing can have max stability um, let me just take a quick look at it can have quite close to it i suppose um, but still it's going to be a great, great weapon for that PvP, it really is. I mean, this thing with focus fire back in the day was absolutely murderous, it really was. Now, this does fall into the low rate of fire auto rifle, so this thing will be receiving a 3% base damage increase. And although that don't sound like a lot, with the nerf that is coming to other weapons as well, which you have to remember, I mean, not only are auto rifles receiving a buff, weapons that own in PvP, such as pulse rifles, are getting a nerf, so it's sort of balancing it out to the point where I do believe auto rifles will stand their own ground and I do believe weapons such as the Suos Regime will be a go-to weapon. Next up we have the Fabian Strategy. Now this isn't a weapon I kept for PvP. It's a weapon I kept just because it's an exclusive. I mean you can only get it on your Titan so I've just kept it for that reason. Probably won't ever use this in PvP to be honest even though I have seen a few people using it. That did doing pretty good with it. And then we then have the Necrochasm. Now the Necrochasm I originally tried before the Taken King update i tried it in pvp where auto rifles were at an all-time low and to be honest it was surprisingly okay i mean it wasn't amazing but it was actually okay if you had decent accuracy you could actually murder with this weapon i haven't tried it since the taken king update where auto rifles received that slight buff but i will be definitely trying it with the december buff i really will can't wait for that to be honest we then have this weapon that dropped for me just last week now this is a weapon i've grinded i've tried to get 
get this weapon for quite a while. I do believe it's a reskin though of the Prison of Elders auto rifle at its current moment in time. I can't remember what that thing is. I actually dismantled that bad boy as well. Uh, but this actually dropped to quite decent rolls. You can see it falls into the medium rate of fire auto rifle. Uh, so it's going to pack a great punch. Like I said, these things are receiving a 3% base damage increase. This thing dropped with persistence. This weapon grows more accurate the longer it's fired. And we also have hidden hand. This weapon gains better target acquisition. We then have rifled barrel, which increases that range. And we all know range is a major perk on any weapon. So I can't wait to level this bad boy up and try it out in PvP once the update drops. Now, next up what we got here, we have this bad boy, the Suros ARI-45. Now, I actually made a review of this weapon where I actually believed it is the best auto rifle legendary-wise in the game. Now, this thing will be a tank, I'm telling you guys. It does, like I say, fall into the medium rate of fire auto rifle class, so it will receive a 3% damage base increase. This thing will absolutely wreck. I mean, look at that stability, look at it, it's got glass half full, this thing is going to be murderous. And I can't wait to try it out. Like I said, um, I did believe it's the best legendary auto rifle in the game at the moment. Going into PvP, after the damage buff to auto rifles, I believe this thing will rule it really well. If you've got this weapon, let me know what you got in it. I believe I got this from a package from the Gunsmith. Uh, meaning a lot of people should have this weapon also. We then have the Lowdown P14. Now this is a year one weapon. Will be absolutely useless in Trials and Iron Banner. And a lot of people say you're a scrub if you use a year one weapon. A lot of these people are people that never played it in year one. Don't know what it's like to have these weapons. And saying year one weapons used in PvP it's rubbish, it's just stupid in my opinion. At the end of the day, I grinded for this weapon just as much as you grinded for your year 2 weapons. And I will use what I want in PvP. And this thing was murderous before the Taken King buff to auto rifles. Haven't used it since then, but with the December buff, this thing is going to be absolutely tank. I mean, it is a medium rate of fire, I believe, even though it looks like it's high. It's actually a medium rate of fire auto rifle, so it will get a 7% base damage increase trees cannot wait to use this bad boy we then have the red spectre now this is a weapon which is supposed to be a red death prototype uh, tried it in pvp absolutely hated it i mean it just 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 let me down it really did i've kept hold of it just to give it another chance which i will when auto rifles receive that buff i mean it's it's mods ain't that great i mean its range is absolutely ridiculous which can be improved but it lowers its stability and I'll show you guys that right now. I mean look at it with reinforced barrel, that stability is horrendous. Um, it's got Icarus, improved accuracy while airborne and it's got hot swap. Already in this weapon got a brief period of bonus accuracy. Now the weird thing about this weapon is, as you can see, let me go back to that bad boy, as you can see, it's got the same rate of fire as weapons such as the Zalo Supercell. But if you look at its impact, it's actually quite a lot higher. So how this thing will work in PvP with the actual damage buff, I don't know. But we will find out shortly. Uh, we then have the Atheon's Epilogue. Now the Atheon's Epilogue is a weapon I've kept just because it's an original year one Mortal Glass Raid weapon. Never really tried it in PvP to be honest and probably won't ever will. Unless one of you guys have tried it and tell me it's amazing, I will. But other than that, it's just being kept because it's a one-off. We then have the old school, the bad boy, the Shadow Price. Now the Shadow Price is an old school weapon. Suros Regime era, which was untouchable. Me personally, mine doesn't have great mods on it. But it's still a weapon I kept just because of what it once was. Whether it will ever go back to them good old days, who knows. Then we have basically the exact same weapon with different mods. Now the Vanquisher, the Shadow Price and the Groom Citizen were basically all three reskins of the same weapon. They are all low rate of fire auto rifles, so they will all be receiving a 3% damage base increase. The thing about this weapon is though, and the shadow price, is basically weapons such as the Suros ARI-45 are year 2 versions, so basically have the same rate of fire and impact. So weapons such as these probably won't ever be used just for this matter, but still I'm keeping them anyway because they're, they're, they're memories, they're year 1 memories that 
I just can't get back. I mean, these are probably one of two year one original legendary weapons. I mean, the Vanquisher was one from New Monarchy. I believe it is. Uh, let's see if it loads. Yes, it is. And the Shadow Prize was an old school Vanguard weapon, which you, you just can't replicate nowadays. I mean, it's, it's just, even though weapons probably will be better, you just, you just won't ever be able to get this weapon again. And that's the reason I've kept it. We then have the For the People. Now this is a weapon which come with a class of weapons after I believe the House of Wolves where all the vendors in the tower and across the board received all new loot. The For the People was a weapon I saw and thought, well, yeah, it looks great but will it actually be able to stand its own ground in PvP? So I brought this bad boy, maxed it out and used it in PvP and let me tell you guys, the weapon is an absolute beast, it really is. I mean, it's got persistence, it's got glass half full, perfect balance, it's got field scout, which I do believe is glitched and takes it up to like 56 bullets in its magazine, but it still has great stability. This thing absolutely owned in PvP, it really did. And this was basically before the Taken King, with this December buff to also rifles, where level don't matter, this will be a go-to weapon for me, for damn sure it really will. And it's a reason I've kept hold of it. And the last weapon we have is the Abyss Defiant. Now the Abyss Defiant is a Cruelty's End raid weapon, which basically to be honest, I never actually used in PvP. I may have used it once or twice, but to be honest, I never actually I never actually gave it a chance of day. I mean, I've seen a lot of people using it. A lot of people using it with focus fire instead of a uh, hip fire, which obviously slows down uh, the actual rate of fire but causes additional damage. I never actually used it, but I've kept hold of it just for this day, just in case it does become one of them weapons which is unstoppable. And that's basically the main reason I've kept hold of it, Abyss Defiant. But guys, those are my auto rifles I have kept just for this day just for the day where auto rifles receive that damage base increase hopefully allowing them to stand their own ground in pvp but have you guys kept hold of any auto rifles if you have let me know what they are down below in that comment section you can always tweet me a picture of the roller mod you have on them too my twitter is at dpjsc08 and it is linked in the video description me personally i cannot wait for the day this update drops i could be jumping to conclusions by saying that auto rifles will be able to stand their own ground but it's looking more and more promising with every major update. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day. Watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same. That's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes. Heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.